dear friends a conductor is a substance which has free electric charges in it when the ends of a conductor is connected to an electric cell across a plug key the electric charges are mobile what is the meaning of an electric cell an electric cell is a device that converts chemical energy to electrical energy and in this process it sets up a constant a constant potential difference across the ends of the conductor now when the circuit is closed electric current flows from the body at higher potential means positive terminal means anode to a body at lower potential means a negative terminal means cathode so when the circuit is closed in the external circuit electric current flows from positive terminal to the negative terminal and the direction of electric current inside the electric cell is from negative terminal to positive terminal and in this process this kind of a system becomes a closed and continuous path of electric current such kind of a system is called a closed electric circuit a closed electric circuit is a closed and continuous path of electric current where direction of electric current is from positive terminal to negative terminal in the external circuit and a negative terminal to positive terminal inside the electric cell when the plug key is taken out this kind of a circuit or a system is called an open circuit means a broken circuit and in such kind of an open circuit or broken circuit there will be no external current so closed circuit is a circuit where there is a closed path of electric current open circuit is a circuit where there is no electric current in the external circuit now to understand the meaning of electromotive force or emf we have to consider an open circuit in an open circuit there is no current in the external circuit then the potential difference across the ends or the terminals of the electric cell is called the emf in an open circuit the potential difference across the ends of a cell potential difference across the ends of a cell is called the emf or electromotive force of the cell emf is the characteristic characteristic feature of an electric cell so electromotive force is a characteristic of an electric cell characteristic of electric cell means every cell has got its own emf for example a voltaic cell has an emf of approximately 1.08 volts the emf of a lacanchy cell is 1.5 volts emf is measured in terms of a volts but it is a denoted with the letter capital e or ya cursive kind of e so emf is the characteristic feature of the cell itself so how much potential difference is there across the terminals of an electric cell is called its emf right then what is a terminal voltage or uh, electric potential terminal voltage or electric potential is the potential difference across the ends of the conductor 
when the circuit is closed in a closed circuit whatever is the potential difference across the terminals or the ends of a conductor is called the terminal voltage we can also define emf and terminal voltage in another way for that purpose once quickly look into this circuit diagram in the circuit diagram a closed circuit what is the meaning of emf electromotive force electromotive force is the work done in a moving or taking a test charge so the work done in taking a single test charge throughout the circuit that means through the external circuit as well as inside the cell inside through the electrolyte of the cell that is called the emf i once again repeat what is the meaning of emf emf is the work done in taking a single test charge through the external circuit through the external circuit and also through the electrolyte of the cell so how much work is done in moving a single test charge throughout this closed circuit continuous path that much amount of work done is the electromotive force then what is a terminal voltage terminal voltage otherwise known as electric potential electric potential is the work done in taking a single test charge from one end of the conductor to the other end that means the work done in moving a single test charge in the external circuit so just in the external circuit how much work is done in making a test charge move that much work done is called electric potential if a, uh, we want to know what is electromotive force electromotive force is the work done in taking a single test charge in the external circuit as well as through the electrolyte of the um, uh, electric cell so that is the difference between electromotive force and um, electric potential here one more point to be understood emf is uh, the complete work done electro uh, electric potential is the work done in just moving the um, uh, charge test charge in only external circuit so here its meaning is electromotive force is always greater than terminal voltage terminal voltage or uh, electric potential so emf is greater than terminal voltage the difference between emf and the terminal voltage emf is denoted with the letter e terminal voltage is represented with the letter v the difference of this because this is greater than this the difference of this is called the lost voltage the lost voltage is due to the resistance offered by the cell itself an electric cell is an electrolytic medium so the electric charges when the circuit is closed the electric charges has to flow in the external circuit as well as inside the electric cell also so the electrolytic medium also offers some internal resistance the internal resistance offered by the electric cell let us call it as a small r and the resistance offered by the conductor let it be r and current in the circuit be i right so the lost voltage is due to the resistance offered by the electric cell itself so e minus v is this and here we will apply ohm's law because here the conductor as well as the cell everything is connected in series voltage is equal to i into r same amount of current flows throughout so i into internal resistance of the cell which is equal to e minus v 
and here this we can write as internal resistance is equal to E minus a V by I. This is the common relation between EMF terminal voltage means electric potential and internal resistance of a cell. So finally the difference between electromotive force and terminal voltage means uh, electric potential is uh, EMF is the characteristic feature of the electric cell. Electric potential is uh, an attaining thing so it's not a character, uh, characteristic feature. EMF is the work done in taking a test charge throughout the external circuit as well as throughout the cell. That means through the circuit and the cell. So how much amount of work is done? That is called EMF. Electric potential is only the work done in taking a test charge in the external circuit only. EMF is measured in terms of volts. Electric potential or terminal voltage is measured in terms of volts. So SI unit is the same. EMF can be calculated using the formula E is equal to V plus IR. This is voltage across the external circuit and this is the voltage across or inside the electric cell. So EMF is a, a total. That means a total throughout. A v that means a total across the external circuit plus inside the cell. And uh, V is equal to IR. That means this is uh, only in the external circuit how much amount of voltage.